What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn, Rad 89 here, bringing you another video today, a physical media one, talking about something that I just added to the collection. This is kind of fun too, because I didn't get a chance to review this film last year, and this is in my top 10 horror of last year, and this is Thanksgiving, the Blu-ray. So today we're going to discuss this film, my feelings on it, why I like this film so much, and all that kind of stuff. And also, as a matter of fact, like I said, we're going to go over the rating and all that, and also have some other announcements I have coming up for videos that I have planned in the pipeline. So stay tuned to this video. Let's do it. Roll it. Also, let's start off right off the bat real quick with the digital code for this. If you do want the digital code for this, I don't use them at all. Please hit me up on my socials. I'll have like my uh, Facebook or Twitter, anything like that. Those are the two that I typically use right there in terms of social media. Hit me up there and I'll share the digital code with you for real because yeah, I don't really use them. They pretty much go to the wayside with me and all that kind of stuff. So, But let's discuss Thanksgiving, Eli Roth's slasher film, the new craze for the Thanksgiving holiday. And in terms of you know horror films, this was in my top 10 of last year. I believe this was number six. It was just out of the top five. And let's talk about some of my favorite things about this movie. Like right off the bat, my favorite thing about this movie is the fact that they lean really heavy into the Thanksgiving holiday. More of the, like, basically the whole film, they just lean very heavy on that. It takes place around Thanksgiving. It focuses on Thanksgiving themes. The kills are styled similar to Thanksgiving stuff. Our killer, the design of our killer, the John Carver design, has that pilgrim design. So I love the fact that this film oozes the Thanksgiving atmosphere. Add to that, we have some really standout, awesome kills. The kills department, they didn't spare no expense. They really have a lot of cool gore sequences in here. And the characters, I wasn't too fond of our teen characters, our main characters, but a majority of them end up dying, so I'm totally cool with it. So yeah, this is a film that, like, you know, I don't go to it to fall in love with the characters or, you know, to care about them or anything like that and all that, but The Kills is really off the charts. It's a great slasher. And also one thing right off the bat, we're going to talk about spoilers. So spoiler warning, if you haven't seen this film, go run out and watch it and then come back and everything so you can check out this video because we're going to be diving into spoilers talking about it. The fact that one thing is that this is kind of obvious right here. Patrick Dempsey being our killer in this movie, there's a couple reasons why it's obvious. It's kind of telegraphed in the beginning of the movie. There's a certain scene, a certain dialogue between him and another character, a female character. And it's kind of telegraphed, that like sequence right there. There's a certain moment. And also the fact that when you see John Carver like do the killings in this film, it's a very tactical killings. And it's somebody who is very comfortable with weaponry and very comfortable with doing all these things and it's very tactical and the only person that can pull off something like that is somebody who's a police officer or was a military veteran or something like that you know what I mean so it's very obvious that Patrick Dempsey's character is the killer in this movie another reason why is too when you get to that third act uh the pilgrim John Carver character has a dinner sequence when we have all our you know members sitting around the table set up you know and we're in the climax of the third act and he has a very uh, long-winded dialogue sequence that only somebody like Patrick Dempsey could pull that off, for real. So only him, in terms of the actors that are in this film, could have pulled off that sequence. So I'm very happy that I wasn't mad at the reveal at all. See, for me, I wasn't mad at the reveal because it, it was kind of obvious. But the fact that Patrick Dempsey just went totally, like, ham campy with it. He is fantastic in the third act. Like, this is how you do a third act reveal. Like I'm talking to Scream 6. This is mainly a knock on Scream 6 because Scream 6, I just wasn't down with that third act reveal at all and the killers and the delivery of the dialogue and the long wordy sequence from uh, Derm Dermot Moroni was nothing, did not land at all. And in this one, the third act lands hardcore. Some videos I have down in the pipeline in the future. I will be soon recording an episode of Coffee Crypt with Steve for the Voices from Mausoleum podcast. So be sure you are staying tuned to that channel. I'll have the link in the description below for that channel. And also Ken Sledge from Sledgehammer Horror. I will also have their link in the description as well. I will soon be on that channel for a collab video for my first horror movie. Ken interviewed me. So that was a very fun video. Make sure you stay tuned to that channel as well. 
a lot of fun content coming down the line for the, for everybody. So really stay tuned to all those channels and subscribe to this channel. Another reason I like this film is that it's like I said, it's creative and it gets down to business. Like this film, like doesn't like it doesn't meander too much. There's not too many dialogue sequences. It very much just gets right down to business it knows what it is and it just goes for it and it you know shows you a good time and is very entertaining like i said i do have some negatives like this wasn't a perfect film like in terms of negatives like i find a lot of the teenage characters to be very fucking annoying like i just really think a lot of them are kind of annoying in here but that's totally cool because like i said a majority of them end up dying so that's totally fine and then another thing is that i feel like this film uh, there's some there's just something else missing and i couldn't really think about it until I watched it a second time and what it's missing I think is a very solid awesome theme or a score you know what I mean like a really cool iconic kind of Harry Manfredini you know John Carpenter type score something unique that is very to this film you know what I mean that will like stick out when you hear it you're gonna think Thanksgiving but in terms of like basically the killer the killer is probably besides that kills and the that Thanksgiving atmosphere, the killer is going to be the most iconic thing from this movie because of the Pilgrim design, the John Carver design. Plus, we also got confirmation for real already that Eli Roth is working on a sequel to this film. So we are going to be seeing more. And in terms of this film, it's going to be definitely one of those films that every November around that Thanksgiving time holiday, either on Thanksgiving or Black Friday or whatever, I'm gonna be watching this movie. Like I might watch this movie on Black Friday just because of the intro, like 10 minutes of this movie, very Black Friday-ish and it's very funny, you know what I mean? It has almost Krampus vibes too, so it's really hilarious. But this is one, like I said, that I highly recommend. If you haven't seen this film, definitely go check this out. Like I said, it's for real worth your time because it's a very stylish slasher that has some really cool kills, an awesome design and I'm eager to see where they take this with the sequel because there is stuff that gets left off hanging you know what i mean in the third act so we'll see what happens and in terms of a rating for this bad boy thanksgiving gets an eight out of ten in my book that's a very solid rad rating an eight out of ten like i said it's a strong very solid very good slasher that i enjoyed and like i said this is one that was in my top ten from last year so you know eight out of ten very strong rating but these are just my thoughts and my opinions on thanksgiving that means i would love to hear from all of you down below share the comments down there do are you on board with this film did you have fun or have you yet to check it out are you waiting to see or you know maybe did i sell you on it you know what i mean telling you what i thought about it and how good it was I would love to hear from all of you down below, but please like this video. That definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime I post a video. But most importantly, you all know what's up. You have a safe and happy day. Peace out.